Hello and welcome to highlights of the final round of the American GT3 series here at Watkins Glen. It's Bogdan Islam on pole and it's go 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 for the start of the race and it does appear he's got off the line much faster than his opponent on the left hand side Foster in the Ginetta. This is the final round of the championships all to play for here between Islam, Foster and Roberts as the outside chance. But Foster's trying to go around the outside of the turn one. Going up the hill he is on the wrong line to get past him. Going up onto the long straight, however, he'll be looking to catch a toe going into the bus stop and maybe make a move there. He needs to get past him quickly because he knows that he might struggle on the longer runs in the Janetta. I hope it does appear that Islam is pulling away and the Foster isn't within the slipstream window, but it does look like Tony Dunn in the Mercedes is trying to take Roberts from P3. He's tried to, but he's got a bit messy on exit that corner and he's failed. He's back in P4. Going into the shoe, it does look like Foster trying to challenge Islam, but it doesn't have the momentum to take the position. Also looks like Andy Brooks trying to make the same move round round side of Tony Dunn, but likewise doesn't have the momentum. BMW, Janetta, BMW, Mercedes, Janetta. Going into the bootleg section of the circuit now, very tight around here. The walls are very close, very daunting to have an accident because it will hurt. It does look like Bodril Islam does want to spread the lead and he's not going to let this championship slip. He needs to fight back after his incident at Road America, but he doesn't need stuff like that. Not using all the circuit and it's allowing Foster to catch in the Janetta. He's very determined to do well. He's, n he's not found himself in this position in the Janetta before. He wasn't expecting a championship, but he's in the fight now, so he might as well go for it. Going the last corner to end the first lap, and it does look like we've got a battle for the lead on here. Cross the line, they're barely uh, a second apart. However, pushing too hard on lap two, Foster goes for the rush track and then nearly plants his Ginetta in the barrier. He doesn't need that if he wants to keep in the race and keep in the championship, more importantly. At the end of lap two, we have our first pit stops as Damo Roberts pulls into the pits in the BMW Z4. Third place in the championship, outside contender having won the first round but has slumped in the past two races. Not much is happening this Watkins Lane race, it's let's take an on board with Foster to take a, a, a look at this circuit. Breaking hard into turn one, there's a lot of camber and a lot of depression on the inside of the circuit. You run out as wide as you can using all the curb. Going up the hill you need to keep it as tight as possible and keep that foot nailed to the ground. Do not back out. You need, to be, you need it for this long stretch going up to the, to the bus stop chicane. This section is all uphill so there's plenty of grunt in that engine. The Gunnett has a 12 V8 in it so it's got plenty of power. Breaking hard into the chicane, using all the curb we can and more. On the exit chicane you go into the long right handing shoot corner, downhill. Try and use that camber but it's punching the left hand side tyres. Going into the bootleg part of the circuit now, breaking downhill into this left hander. Very tight corner and it's very punishing on exit as there's no run off. Use all the curve on exit. The short little run going up into this very cambered right hander corner. Quite simple corner but at the same time you don't want to hit the inside and spin out. Up over the crest going into the last section of this part of the track. Very hard corner to break for this. You have no idea because the grip changes throughout the, throughout the duration of the race. Don't use too much cup curve on exit. Going uphill to rejoin the old circuit. Very hard corner. You don't want to flip it too hard on the inside and not flip it too hard on the exit so you want to hit the barrier. This corner, just about flat out in qualifying, you've got a lift in the race. And going through the final corner using all the camber and it does appear possible it's pulling into the pits. Not only that, but it does appear his rival, Islam, has pulled into the pits as well. So this leaves Tony Dunn in the Mercedes, who inherited P3 from Roberts when he pitted, who has not pitted just yet, to go through and pick up the lead. That's if you can get out ahead of Islam. He is currently coming around to lap both Dave Hager and Andy Brooks, though. I have not got out of the way just yet and it does appear Bodril Islam has got out in the lead ahead of Tony but I don't think Foster will yes the Janetta has come out behind that gaggle of cars 
So he's come out in P3 behind the Mercedes and also with two more cars to lap. That is not ideal. He's lost plenty of time on Islam now. This is not what he wanted for his championship promises. Going up the street, you can see the cars ahead fighting. He doesn't need that. Break into the chicane as also Tony's trying to get through the lap cars. Oh, and there's contact there between Dave Hager and, and Foster and Dave doesn't appear to have got out of the way yet. But he doesn't need this, he's losing time to Islam for the longer this goes on. Going down into the blue leg part of the circuit. Needs to get past these cars and he needs to get out of the way because there's two cars behind him. Round the right hander. Janetta does appear to be moving out the way, but all oh, the two Janetta, all oh, the Janettas come together slightly. Oh, they don't need that. The factory Janetta and the privateer Janetta going into the right-handed. Foster needs to get past Tony. He's going around the outside. Tony's making it harder. He goes two wheels on the grass. Can he get it into the hill? Yes, if into the hill section, he has got past the, uh, the Mercedes. Now he needs to continue his charge and close the gap to his lap if he can because he's lost a lot of time passing three cars in one lap. Bearing in mind he's on cold tyres and cold brakes. Through the last corner. Does look like Tony's going into the pits. This is the number two Janetta of Andy Brooks. Oh, and he's having to retire. Yeah, he's this cars it's very hard race nutrition. And he's retiring. And that is the end of the race. Foster was not able to close the gap and Islam pulled out a lead and he comes through to take the chequered flag and the 25, 26 points indeed that claim him the his first feature race championship for, for BMW very well deserved having picked up two race wins this season those are your top finishing podium positions it was Islam in the BMW from Fawcett and the Janetta who took second in the championship it's been a fantastic season. I hope to see you next season. Thank you.